Okay, YouTube, so I wanted to make a, I'll try to make a short video on how to port forward with AirVPN. AirVPN does work with dynamic DNS, and I'll show you how. I don't know how they do it on theirs. Um, I haven't quite figured that out, but so this is what I do know. You want to port, port forward your surveillance or whatever you want. For me, it's something sim simple like B and C or something, okay? So, this first number here is going to be, as you can see, I have different numbers, but I'm going to use 10,000 as a port, okay? Now, first number is the, the server port. So, let's say my IP address. It would be my internet IP address. So, let's say my internet IP address right now is 193.193.193.193. 193, make it easy, okay? So, um, you, I mean, I'm going to just do TCP, UDP, and then the local port, and we're going to say this is for UDP, is going to be 5900, which is a standard port for VNC. It can be changed through VNC, but I want to keep it the normal port. Now, I'm going to click Add, and then this is the message I get. As you can see, port 10,000 is already reserved by another user. Okay. If you scroll all the way down, you're going to get this part. Okay, now, um, let's say, I, I just want to see what ports are available, so I'm going to view the graph. Click it. So when you view the graph, this is what the graph looks like, and pretty much anything green is an available port. If you hover your mouse over it, it tells you the exact port number. And then it says six conti uh, uh, continuous here. So, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Those are all open. Anything red is obviously taken. So that's just something to look at if, if you are if you want to be very picky. For those of us that um, aren't that picky, okay, so I really don't care. But I want uh, a couple things I want to port forward. So I'm going to go back up here. Uh, I want... You know, let's say VNC, my surveillance, uh, RDP, uh, and something else, right? So I need four things, four ports. And I prefer them to be consecutive, so it's easy to remember. So I'm just going to click that and search. And then as you can see, it brings you to the screen right here. And those are my ports. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I can kind of remember that. So we're going to go back to the other screen. So here we go again. Now I'm using a port in that range. And once again, I plan on using all four ports, and you may as well do them all right now. So I went ahead and added VNC as 46473, and my local port of 5900, which would be the port that's open on this computer, on this laptop. Now I'm going to do RDP 3389, and then you click Add. Now, as you can see here, it's open. So this is my, oops, this is my IP address. And so it, it forwards to both of them, okay? Um, now I don't have RDP set up on this computer, which is fine, but I would just go into RDP and I would choose this IP address. And then I put the uh, colon 46474 in, any RDP computer in the world. And then what that's going to do is that's going to port forward to port 3389 on this computer, which will do RDP. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So plain and simple. Okay, so how do you do uh, dynamic DNS? Because you're... you're port's always going to change. I use no IP and you can download the software and it runs in the background on your Windows based computer. And what it is, is uh, we have to sign up with them. It's free if you confirm your dynamic DNS every 30 days. If not, you can pay for it. It's still pretty cheap anyways, but this software will constantly update. So if I disconnect from, uh, from uh, Eddie, um, and then I reconnect and connects to a different server, different IP address. This software will update every five minutes and it'll keep my new IP address. So the ports forwarded will automatically go with it and it will still forward to the computer even though your IP address has changed. 
too. So, and it pretty much just updates to check to your com computer's internet IP address every five minutes. Seems like it's been working fine for me. So, yeah, and that's it.